here on Ice Time TV with Devils head coach Andrew Lord after a uh, overtime loss to the Coventry Blaze. And Andrew, uh, frustrating night, I guess. You seem to have a lot of scoring chances. Stewart was big, and uh, maybe a point got away there. Yeah, but it was an extremely frustrating night. Uh, one of the most of the year, I'd say. Uh, I thought Stewart was maybe that was maybe one of his best games he's played against us in, in the three years I've seen. I thought he was absolutely incredible. Um, especially early I thought our, our start our first six seven minutes was phenomenal um, and it's it's just tough when you don't get one by them it you know his confidence grows and and their team confidence grows um, it was really f unfortunate because we, we made a couple really big mistakes tonight and they capitalized um, you know credit to them we gave up two breakaways we give up an odd man rush there uh, in the first as well other goal was off a face-off, but those three in particular, uh, it's just too many, you know, in pro hockey, and uh, that's very, very frustrating because I thought, you know, there was a lot of battle, there was a lot of physicality, uh, guys were making plays, we just, we just didn't finish quite enough, and then some of our mistakes uh, really came back to bite us. Well, that's ultimately what we were saying in commentary. It wasn't a bad performance from the Cardiff Devils by any stretch of the imagination. There was physicality, there were scoring chances, but for a coach that, that prides himself so much on the details, that's where you felt the game uh, maybe got away from you tonight. Yeah, I mean, the, the first one's just a, a little turnover to the middle there, and they, they got some speed, you know, they really do. They got some guys that can play off the rush, and that plays right in their hands. Uh, the other one, we get beat off the wall, um, one of our defensemen, and they, and they just gives up a kind of a quick odd man rush almost a mini breakaway as well and obviously the overtime goal we really overcommit there with uh, 12 or 13 seconds to go and I thought we really you know <laughs> had a boatload of chances in overtime as well so all in all very frustrating I told the guys though the work ethic was there uh, just a little bit smarter in a few of those areas uh, and at the end of the day we we you know as much as or as hard as it is to just let this go, we need to. We have a very quick turnaround. We have an early morning tomorrow. Uh, we need a, a huge response in Brayhead. Is this, uh, every weekend is tough, but in terms of the scheduling, this is a tough weekend now. Coming off a, a loss tonight, I guess it's a long travel day tomorrow against the team that's going to play intense against the Devils. There's a, there's a good little rivalry forming there. Uh, this is going to be a, a weekend where the character of the Devils is really going to have to stand out. Yeah, absolutely. I, I thought we showed a, a, a ton of character tonight. Coming, clawing our way back, clawing our way back. Uh, forcing overtime, we, I thought we were almost going to, uh, you know, finish it off there in regulation. We really had a great third period. Um, again, it's just it is frustrating. Those, those opportunities we gave up were just too big. You know, we we really don't give up uh, very many odd man rushes at all here in Cardiff. And, and tonight, that uh, our, our odd man rushes were big ones, giving up two breakaways. Can I ask you particularly about Andrew Hotham because he is a, a, a stud. He had an outstanding performance tonight. Scored uh, some big goals. Um, you know, we sense up in commentary that. He probably leads the team in, in, in minutes. He seems to play a lot of minutes. Any concern there as a coach? He's obviously a go-to guy, but do you have to manage his minutes as well? What's, what's your take on him? Yeah, I mean, we do manage his minutes more. Um, you know, now that it's the third go around here uh, with myself and the, this group, you know, we have a much better feel for things, especially, you know, at this point of the season. Uh, and we have a real open, open line of communication. When he's feeling it, when he's on, uh, let's get him on the ice. Because as you saw there, uh, he was absolutely phenomenal making play after play. Um, you know, it's just, it's just finding that balance where obviously at times, you know, we can't have him always jumping up and whatnot. He still needs to be responsible. And, you know, let's face it, it's, it's never going to be perfect. But, uh, you know, we'll take the guy that we had tonight, uh, you know, any game for sure. Uh, forgive me if this is a question Alid or Gaz after, asked over Christmas, but it, it seems for the most part tonight you were going predominantly with 11 forwards and, and, and having pairs going, maybe uh, Aslan and Martin, Brian and, and Morissette, Ulmer and Bentavolu, them rotating in. Is, is that something that you're, you're happy with and, and, and looking to, to move forward with? Uh, I mean, it all started that third period. Again. Well, I guess the last 30 minutes of that last Coventry game at home, we were just flat as could be. Uh, you know, let's face it, our starts here at home um, over the earlier in December just weren't weren't great you know they, they were okay but you know it's home it's in front of a huge building it's a big part of our game as those starts here in Cardiff um, and uh, you know we went to that that lineup there with 30 minutes to go against Coventry we had that huge third period probably the best 20 minutes of the season uh, we wanted to carry that into Dundee you know Dundee uh, plays a very defensive structure it's a slower game so so that's what we use there as well just to keep guys in uh, because you know the majority of our team is not used to four-line hockey and that's uh, you know 
it has a, a ton of positives, but it also does have its um, challenges at times. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's getting guys involved, and, and I thought it worked well again tonight. I would have liked to use our bench more uh, because of the travel tomorrow. We really were only planning to use it for about seven or eight minutes, but then obviously when we fell down a couple goals, we just we needed to go with, uh, you know, more of our scores and shorten the bench there a bit, uh, you know, especially into overtime. But, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens here. Um, glass is very much half full, more than half full, you, you, you're top of the league. So I don't mean this as a negative question, but any concerns right now about the home form over the last month? There was the perfect storm against the Nottingham Panthers. There was a loss to the, 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 uh, the Manchester Storm, the loss tonight. And uh, uh, I guess uh, it is your third go around now. Uh, that home record has got to stand up now over the last stretch of the season. Yeah, I mean, you know, the Nottingham game was obviously the, the low point of the season. Um, I thought Manchester, especially the, the first period there, we just came to the blocks incredibly slow. I actually think since that point, uh, we've played a lot of good hockey here. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it's, really, it's really just about getting yourself fired up for that first, you know, opening face-off, first five, ten minutes. And when we have that start like we did tonight, um, it really gets the guys in, into the game. Unfortunately, you know, a couple turnovers tonight and the, and the breakaway gives them a, a big lead. But... Um, no, I don't know. I'm so one game at a time. Mm -hmm. I really don't even consider that, um, you know, too much. And uh, I, I don't think we can let that get in our heads. We just got to play hockey right now. Final question and, and finishing on a positive note. What is it? The second, third sellout uh, in a row in Ice Arena, Wales. Uh, what's it like right now to play in this arena in front of these fans? It's amazing. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm missing being out there, to be honest. Uh, it's it's tough, uh, tough just coaching. It's uh you know, you obviously have a huge impact on the game, but it's a, it's a lot different. Um, you know, the fan base has been, you guys have been absolutely incredible all season, uh, you know, particularly late. The atmosphere was um, awesome tonight. I thought it was a very entertaining game. Um, and uh, yeah, let's keep it going. It's going to be a very exciting, uh, you know, next couple months. It certainly will be another very exciting game tonight against the Coventry Blaze. Andrew Zeva, thanks for joining us on Ice Time TV. Thanks.